Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial, and this one will be continuing with the economy system, the RPG bot system inventory, whatever you want to call it. Um, in this one, we'll be creating a system to display our inventory of items and money like we have had before, so that um, it's all in one command rather than having a separate one for money and a separate one for items. And also, um, so that we can then at a person, do like question mark inventory at someone, and then we view their inventory as well, so that we can then move on next video to make a trade request where perhaps um, you do a trade request with someone and the bot will DM that person and then they might have to react to an embed to agree to trade or so on. Um, you'll put an offer of money ahead and if they agree then so on. Um, you know, we'll get onto that. It'll be quite complex I reckon because I can already foresee some problems with, for example, if you have like a hundred money and you uh, say, um, yeah, I want, I want that item for a hundred and then by the time they respond you don't have a hundred, what do you do? So maybe you have to like deposit it and put it to the side, like you can't... Um, once you've done the bet, you have to give away that money unless you cancel the bet. You know, we'll find something about it. We'll figure it out. But the point is, it's going to be quite complex and probably take a video or two. So, yeah, I hope you look forward to it. But let's get into this video. This one shouldn't be too complicated. So I want to th start by thanking my patrons. With special thanks to Michael, Remy Baldwin, and Fulborn for their donations on Patreon this month. If anyone else is able to help support, then the link is in the description below. But uh, as always, let's get into it. So what have I done out of off camera? Not really anything. I've just deleted the money command. Um, you know what, though? Uh, I might... Nah, I don't need to keep it. Because what we're going to do is we're going to um, create like an inventory command, as I said, or a profile command, or whatever you want to call it. And that is going to... Um, if you just use it without adding anyone, then it'll just get your own. And if you do it with adding someone, then it'll get theirs. Or at least try to. And then if it can't, it'll say, sorry, no one exists with that name. So... We'll make that command in a second. Uh, actually, why? Well, let's, let's just do it now. So, new file. I'm going to call it inventory.ts. Remember to go and add it to your config as a command. I've already done that. So let's go and copy the uh, template and go back to the inventory. So what do we need to do here? Well, it's the inventory. Inventory. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. All right, inventory copy paste as the command this command um, displays your inventory or the mentioned users now in reality if you're at if you're mentioning someone in the server they should have an inventory and they most likely will but just in case they don't you don't want to have an error message so you want to have some catch though it'll probably never happen you know it's just better to be safe than sorry so what do we really want to do with this command well we want to first of all try and get who they're adding so the way you can do that is you can say message object dot mentions dot users dot first and that will get you the first mentioned user if you know they're adding someone now because um, obviously mentioned users is a list and array now the thing is we want to have the two cases of if they use if they add someone then it'll do theirs and if they don't then it'll do their own so we first of all want to check um, how like the length of the args so if um, args dot length all right so if it is um, if it's zero basically um, then well, how about we say if it's greater than, what should we do? Because, I mean, we'll allow them to add multiple people if they wanted to, but it's only going to display the first person's inventory, because that's obviously what this is going to do. It's going to get the first one. So we'll say if args.length is greater than zero, then do this one. Obviously, we need to write a little bit more than that, but we'll say do that one. Um, else, let me just... Uh, I don't know, actually, do I want the else on the next line? Yeah. I usually do else's like that, I think. I do different syntaxing for JavaScript and C Sharp, and I do most of my stuff in C Sharp. But anyway, so yeah, if, um, there, is a, if, if there is a parameter to basically get the first mentioned user, um, otherwise do our own. So we need to have a string, really. So um, this is inside the function, right? Yeah, okay. So let user ID equal... And then we'll just let it equal a blank string at first. So it's a blank string. And then we want to kind of get their ID, which is like that. So we'll say user ID is equal to that. And then else user ID is equal to 
um, the message object dot user no sorry dot member message dot member dot id. Now there are um, different ways to write this if else because it's just a simple if it's this else do this. So because since we're just setting user ID, you can do a different way of writing this. But I think I'll just leave it like this for now. It's a bit easier to read to understand as someone who's perhaps newer. So we're going to set the ID here, and then obviously we can use it. But the problem is, uh, what if obviously the person sending the message will always exist and have an ID, but they might not at somebody. Obviously, the best way to do this is just what well, we'll try. It, you know. So if I for example, put a breakpoint right here, and then well, actually, I'll do it. I'll do it there, so it happens afterwards. Um, what we're going to do is we'll do Control Shift B. Um, that's not Control Shift B. That is right, Control sh Control Shift B. I was pressing the wrong things. Uh, that should build, and we hopefully get no errors. And then I can go to my index, open in terminal, and do node dot and please get no errors. Yep, it's ready. Cool. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say question mark inven inventory at um, Depodino and it should work. I didn't mean to do a uh, space but it's fine. Now does the code say anything? It says can't read property ID of undefined. Now let's just try it again and not mess up. Uh, inventory at. Let's try dapper test. I honestly don't know why it's messing up like that, to be honest. That's a bit weird. Fine, what happens if I do um, question mark um, inventory at that? Oh, it worked that time. Um, let's clear this and go again. I'll try it in debug mode and Actually, I had some problems with debug mode running earlier. Yeah. It's fine. Basically, if we don't at someone or it fails to at someone, we're going to get an error here. So we need to actually make sure that um, the message users, the length of this is greater than zero because obviously if we've not mentioned anyone, then it's not going to be greater than zero. So if message object dot mentions dot users dot length or dot count is it? Um, is what type is it? It's a collection size. Yeah, forgot syntax. There. So if the size is greater than zero, then do this. So if they um, put an argument, but it does, they don't add anyone. Then what do we say? Which means we could just return there. You know, it's up to you what you want to do. I'm not going to bother going into the whole, uh, like, telling them back, oh, you forgot to do this, please do this. You know, that you can do that, but I don't want to waste time doing that now. So if they've mentioned someone and it's fine, otherwise, um, if, they haven't, if they haven't typed anything, just done question mark inventory, then obviously it's, their, it's themselves. So what do I want to do now? Well, I want to create an embed. So let um, inventory embed equal new discord dot rich embed. And we'll go set it up here. So we want to do uh, dot set title, and the title is going to be um, person's inventory. So we'll say message object dot member dot uh, display name apostrophe s. So their inventory dot um, set. No, we'll just do add field. Well, we might do set color. Uh, I don't know what the color will be. It doesn't really matter. We could just do um, 0, 200, 0. So it's kind of green for the dapper color. I don't know. And then let's do the add fields now. So what we're going to do is we want to add a field for their money and then add a field for their items. So we'll do dot add field. Oh, I need to not put a semicolon there. All right, dot add field. And we'll put this field as um, money colon and then the actual value of the money will be whatever the money is from the database so um, obviously I've gotten rid of the money command but it's basically the same thing we just want to say um, let's we've done it in the buy haven't we so the user money is that so let user money equal 
that. They don't know what DB is because I've imported it, so we have to say uh, import all as DB from quick DB from quick DB. The thing is here it's saying now uh, if I put in user money, user money user money is of type number. We in reality want it to be of type string. If I just let this go. Can I do dot two string on this? Now because the thing is this is coming back as type any, so it doesn't know what it's gonna be. Now it technically will be of type like number or integer really because it's uh well that's what we're setting it as in the database. But in reality it should work. Now I think the safest thing to do here is put it inside the variable thing like this, so it will actually convert it to a string anyway. That's what it does. So we've got money and then their money is on going to be on the next line. So you might put that much gold or that many coins or whatever, right? And finally we'll do the actual proper bit. So we're going to have to get their inventory items as a list and then perhaps sort them alphabetically or whatever you want to do, it's up to you. But I'm just going to basically get the list and I'm going to put it in here. Now the list is going to be a list of strings, but we don't want it to just be um, displayed as it is in the database really. I mean, you might want to do that, we'll do that first. So we'll do add field, uh, items, and then what are their items? Well, their items are, let's go get them. So uh, let user items equal db.get, and then it's this dot items. Obviously that's going to be a list of items, so if we just go in and put this right now, so if we just go and put user items, we'll have a look at how it is, but it probably won't look nice, you might want to do some formatting to it. Um, we obviously want to say message object dot send, uh, dot channel dot send, we want to send the inventory embed, uh, and then uh, well, we'll use the same thing as we've done over here, for example. When we send, we then will just try and delete it, uh, like show. Cool. Might want to leave it more than five seconds, maybe like ten seconds. It's up to you. Let's go Control Shift B and see if we can check our own inventory and see if we can check someone else's inventory. So let's bring this up. I need to yet again open a terminal. So I'm going to say inventory, inventory at Dapper Dino. So it's, it's doing the weird. It's not actually adding properly. I don't know if that's Discord being weird or not, but um, invent. I'll just do inventory of nothing and see what we get. So the field values must not be empty. So apparently, one of the things we're getting is empty. Now, why might that be? Well, we should probably use the debug tool to actually see why, because it makes life so much easier. So I'm going to put a breakpoint probably here, because that's when it's got the data. I can stop this and I can go and start debugging. Um from the index script because it doesn't really work from in here. Control S debug start. So now if I do question mark inventory we get a pause and it's basically saying All right, I don't care about that thing uh, go to the next breakpoint so user money is five user items is book book because apparently I have two books I mean maybe I do so uh, I'll go back and I'll put a breakpoint here inventory embed well, the title's fine because it's the display name. That's the color, money, items. Oh, it did work. Maybe I forgot. Oh, that's weird. How about invent? 
repository at TypeScript Discord bot. And let me just press go, go, go. Apparently that didn't work. I'm going to remove these breakpoints and just try again. Um, question mark. Uh, I know why. No, that probably was right. Question mark inventory at TypeScript Discord bot. The reason that is correct actually, but what it's doing is it's um, silly me. So here, like, um, what I should be doing is not the message object author ID. It should just be the user ID, which is what I've set earlier. So we want the user ID's money. So in reality, it's just that, and the user ID's items. And down here, we want to put the. Um, well, it depends whether it's. If it's me, then the like actual user is going to be, you know what we'll do actually, instead of user ID, we'll just say um, mentioned user. And instead of saying the ID, we'll set just the user. Mentioned user is me. Did I spell that wrong? Okay, yeah, it's not meant to be a string. It's just meant to be null, really. And down here, obviously, we set it to be the member. So we say mentioned user dot id, mentioned user dot id, and then the mentioned user's display name. Mentioned user dot. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so the, the currently it's of type user or guild member, so it's actually not giving us exactly what we want. Uh, so I need to go up here and actually say it's of type discord dot guild member, like so. Um, now this returns ah that's the problem. So this is returning a user, which is a different data type. So I guess really what we're going to just want to do this is user then. But then down here, it's not working. So I can change message object dot member dot user. And then down here, it's mentioned user dot. And then now we see more stuff so we can get their username. Finally, we should be done. So if I control shift B, run it. And do the good old go back, open no dot. What we should find now is it actually does display the right stuff. So let's use the purge command that we've made to like delete all these messages. And then, so we'll do question mark inventory. So it's in my inventory. Um, ooh, what, what's going on here? The embed field values must not be empty because apparently now it's empty. All right, well, I guess we need to debug it. So we'll go back to the index and we'll uh, go debug. I uh, don't need to press that, so just F5. And back, if we go do inventory, the items are right, the money's right, username, money, items. It's working now. Uh, for some reason, it didn't work right away. And then, how about inventory for at? TypeScript Discord bot tutorial, and if I quickly just turn off the breakpoint uh, and do it again. It hasn't told me anything. You know what? I should probably do the breakpoint if then. Let's copy that and just send it again. 50. Uh, I think the problem here now, right, is that they have no items. Because that's actually possible, right? Now, if I did, um, because the bot can't buy items, really, because it can't use the commands. We could make it buy items or have items. So, in reality, we need to say, um, we need to add one more check on it. So, stop the debug, go back to the command. So, before here, when we do the, you know, add field items, if they actually don't have any items, then we want to um, deal with that. So this user items is of type any, but we want to say, because we know it's going to be a string array. So 
uh, string array. So now we can treat it as one. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if user it uh, if user items dot length is uh, less than or equal to zero. We could just say equal to zero, but I always like doing a less than or equal to check just just in case it never really happens ever. But it, you know, it's just one of those insecurities of mine. And then um, what we need to do is we need to basically just set it. It's a string array, so what we really should do is we could, um, I mean, we could even make this a string, treat this as a string, and then do like dot um, split join whatever. But it'd be much easier to just say user items dot. Um, oh, how should we do this actually? I think that's a good idea. What I said, yeah, make it make a string, right? So then. I can say take this list and then do dot and obviously we need to treat it as uh, a string array because that's what type it is returning and what can you do with string arrays well you can do dot, dot join but then you have to say what to join on where well, we want to join on um, oh no what to join with sorry you want to join with spaces okay now if there isn't anything in that list we're actually just gonna basically have an, an empty string so if um, user items is equal to nothing, then user items is e set equal to um, like no items or like empty. Maybe that's what you want to do. And obviously, I'm not 100% certain that will work, but I'm pretty, pretty certain. So we might as well do a breakpoint here. And when it's done, we can close this and we can go and press F5 to run in debug mode and do a final test. So now when we do inventory on our own, I mean, it works because your user items is book book. So that basically doesn't happen. So we're fine. Sends our thing, Daffodimes inventory, money, five gold, items, book book. You might want to do commas between them. Obviously you format it how you want. I'll probably do some of that off camera. And then if I do inventory at TypeScript Discord bot, he's got no items. So we've actually set it to empty at this point. Items empty. And then I actually have a, um, what I'll do is I'll go on incognito and go on Discord's website. And what I can do is I can log in with another account that I made. Uh, like so and then what I can do is I can basically buy some items oh really I have to do this I'd say that's good enough car yeah whatever I'm not a robot cool um, I don't think so uh, what I want to do is I want to now as the as my second account which I've got over here dapper test I want to go buy an item right so I'm going to go I want to go to general, why not? I want to buy a sword, uh, buy, buy a shield. So apparently I've got a shield now, right? So if I go over to my other one and do, all right, question mark inventory at dapper test. It's doing that and I really don't get why. Oh, okay, no, I do get why. Many of you probably saw this earlier. Because I've got a role called Dapper, which is silly of me. Um, Dapper Squad. Just change the name. Now the atting might work. So inventory at Dapper Test. And obviously it stops there. Go next. Go into the server. We have a shield. So basically now, and we're also out of money because we spent all our 50 gold on the shield. So now we have the user inventories working and we can display other people's inventories and check what they have. If they've got no items and it'll say empty or whatever you want it to say. Um, obviously for the items, you might want to split it up. You might want to format it nicer, put it in rows and columns, put quantities in there. We're going to have to do quantities somehow. The, the easiest way to do quantities right now would be to just count up how many of each item we've got and put a number next to it. But it probably be more, make more sense to just uh, in the list to store the number with the items to show how many we have of it. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you like this video. Obviously, we'll be continuing with this in the next two, two or three days. Uh, leave suggestions below. 
Um, check out my Patreon or my Discord server if you haven't already. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already either. But apart from that, thanks for watching and goodbye.